Hey, everyone. And uh, I usually don't do this, but we, we need to do this. Th this is something that has to be done. What we have in store is a reaction to Blaze Blue Central Fiction's trailer. Uh, this is the subbed version, so at least we get subs. Yeah. <laughs> and neither of us are typically one for reaction videos. But with the new Blaze Blue game, it's got to be done. You, you now, can't not. If you've seen our our channels, you already know for a fact that we're a little obsessed with the franchise. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited for this because if you don't know, I've played every single Blaze Blue and I'm completely up to date. Um, I played Continuum Shift Two, um, and I have seen another Let's Play on Chrono Phantasma. Uh, so you don't know too much about the story or lore, so it's not, it, the trailer's going to be a little bit more confusing to you, I believe, because they're most likely going to show, like, story elements, because they left Chrono Phantasma Extends on a large cliffhanger. Have you already seen that part, or? Chrono Phantasma? Yeah, yeah like uh, ending. I, I, I just said I saw Let's Play on Chrono Phantasma. All right. Well, without further ado, let us begin. Watakshi wa ao o tori ni kita no demo, ganbo o kanaeru tame ni kita no demo nai wa. Tashikame ni kita no yo. Anata ga nani mono ka o. Ikimashou, jikan ga nai wa. That's one way to run a trailer. Oh, oh yeah. That's a new move. Hibiki and ooh, now tell. Tarinatsukiyagetaeiyu,など無価値だ。観客だなんて、翔太が死神を追いかけて、ラグナにはまだ果たしてもらわなければならない役目がある。話してもらいますよ。あなたがどこまで青についてこれは面白い。全てを忘れた貴様が、また繰り返すのか。自分はある方のためにも存在しています。あなたを知ってる。あなたは誰なの？ここは私が引き受けます。早く。努力作と戦うのは果たしてあげ
Okay, now that's the end. Now we have reached the ending. Alright, now that whole last section there actually did give me a bit of goosebumps. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this. So am I. And, see, I want to know, like... Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a pointless ramble for a second here, but of all the people to ask what they wanted from the world, why pick Ragna? Well, it's, from what I understand, at the end of, uh, now this is a little bit of spoiler, spoilers for CP, so if you don't want any spoilers for uh, Chrono Phantasma, uh, thank you for watching and all. Yeah, I'll, we'll uh, see you later. But but if you don't care about what hap about spoilers. hearing a little bit of spoilers, then here you go. At the end of Chrono Phantasma, Ragna wakes up without any memories, deserted, but he still has the Azure Grim Grimoire. He still has it, and it's still in his possession. So, it's obvious he still holds the fate in the, of the world in a way. Now, see, I thought that was Noelle, because she was the true successor. True successor doesn't mean shit if you don't have the weapon. Fair enough. She may be able to control it, but that she doesn't some mean... some kind of catalyst. Yeah. Some method with which she use it in the world. By the way, I like the way Noelle looks, like in this video. Mm -hmm. And was I hallucinating, or... <clears throat> Did I see what looks like a younger version of Ragna? Uh, no, actually. Uh, I don't understand it because that's a character from uh, one of the visual novels and manga that Arxis did. It takes place, like, he's the main character from one of their visual novels. I don't know why the fuck he's in here. Maybe he'll have some kind of relevance to... Uh... I hope so. I'm hoping he's not one of those, oh, I'm here now, because I'm here. I, I'm here to exist. <laughs> yeah, like one of those cameo characters. I'm hoping he's not one of those. That he actually has some role to play. Yeah, because he's from like their visual novel series. Oh, hold on. Yeah, he's from their visual novel series that uh, was going on, and he's like way in the past before the Black Beast incident happens. Hmm. <clears throat> so, that's a t that's some time travel bullshit already. Well, it's already been done. Ragna's whole existence. Yeah, I mean, Ragna went back in time. Oh, spoilers. Ragna killed fights himself, spoilers. But we are they already passed the spoiler mark, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I was about to say, point. let's just say that everything from here on out could quite possibly contain spoilers. Now, I'm going to try going back because there's one line in here that interests me. Okay, yeah, it's after this part. Yeah, this part. Okay. When Hazuma? When he says, how much do you know about the Azure? Yeah, because I know Japanese uh, Hazuma's voice actor. I know his voice, and this is him speaking. That implies that he knows a fair bit. Or maybe well, he doesn't know anything at all and is trying to seem like he does. Well, this is Hazuma telling, like, saying it to Rachel and possibly Ragna himself. So maybe there's something we're missing with Azure. Something that has just yet to be made relevant.
Okay, um... So, from what I've seen, Arkune most likely has his memories back, or what he said back there. Yeah. If he's fighting for Lychee instead of, uh, Relius now, then, well, that just made Arakune like ten times more scary to fight against in reality, because you know how, like, powerful Arakune is. Yeah. <clears throat> and, that's and, without, now that, and that's pretty much being psycho. Now that he has his, like, from the sounds of it, he wants to just protect Lychee, which means... He remembers his past as a doctor working with her. I want to see how they work the title of the game into this this time. Because, I mean, if you look at the Blaze Blue series, the title has always fit into the game somehow. Yes, Continuum Shift 2, it was a continuum shift as the world repeated. Chrono Phantasma, the Phantasma was uh, Cecilia. And Calamity Trigger was the focal point of it all. Yeah. So, Central Fiction... I think. Okay, fiction is or it means fake, and central fiction means is a fantasy, and central is the center. So maybe we're finally reaching the center of some fantasy world. Hmm. That that's my because I mean they constantly keep asking what world do you want? How are you going to destroy this world? So maybe. I really hope that this isn't the route they're going with it. Maybe I'm just trying to overthink the word the wording. Maybe this is some kind of fantasy world. Like, mm. and at some point everyone was pulled into a fantasy world that Ragnar is going to destroy. I don't think they would go down that route. I certainly hope not, because, I mean, that'd be such a cliche thing to do. I think the fiction might be re relating to Ragnar missing his memories and him starting from scratch. Or maybe the fiction is his Azure. Because the central is obviously going to be re re resolving around Ragna. Because he is the beginning and end in the Blaze Blue series, just because of the fact that he turns into the Black Beast and Which kills destroys everyone. everything. And he's also the person that buys everyone time to stop the Black Beast when he goes in. So he's the... He's the focal point. Yeah, he is, like, the center of everything in Blaze Blue. See, that, that's what makes me... Like a little bit more curious is that Ragna is at the center of everything so far. Yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, suck it, all of you that said Hazma died and they're uh, not bringing him back. I fucking called it. <laughs> you, I knew that was going to come up at some point in the video. <laughs> because you know what I'm talking about, how he was, like, he fell into the lake and drowned. Mm-hmm. When Teramu died, and supposedly that destroyed their uh, link. I knew for a fact that they wouldn't kill off Hazma that, like that. That's too much of a, like a cop-out. Uh-huh. That, that's the way you kill off a character if you're like, okay, we need to get rid of him, but we have no way of doing it. How do we do this? Oh, you could drown him. Let's, uh... let's do it. And it makes me so happy to see Hazi still being such a dick. He is such an amazing character. Wow. What a scrub. Scrap. Okay, yeah. I, I do apologize for that minor interruption. Okay, there we go. As I was saying, though, uh, one of the things that interests me is, uh, from what I've seen, they're bringing back all these characters, and from this trailer alone, it seems there was a major development. Yeah. 
Because, first of all, they paired Jen and Noel together, which... The fuck? Has the ship become canon? No, that ship doesn't exist. Oh no, it exists. It's there. It is heavily implied. What, Jen and uh, Noel? It, it, it'll happen. Just watch. It'll happen somehow. It's already been stated that he's after Subaki. So, I'm and sorry, but I, after I have... Sakura for like three quarters of the series. And look at what happened. And Sasuke tried to kill Sakura like three times. And look at what happened. Bitch, this ain't Naruto. I know, but if we're applying just logic of anime and games in general, it could happen. It could happen, but it's doubtful when the first thing Jin thinks of when he sees Noel is, I'm going to fucking stab you. <laughs> Given the topic of the, our previous statements, you saying that has to be the worst possible choice. Um, <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, from the sounds of it, Noel is still hunting after Ragna, like she always does, and Jin seems to just not give a shit anymore. Yeah, because, I mean, if you look at Continuum Shift, he was trying to murder the fuck out of Ragna. And then Chrono Phantasma, he was trying to murder Ragna, but it was more of a, I'm going to kill you because you're in front of me. He didn't start hunting him down anymore. Yeah. Like, if they met in seen... the same place, yes, it would happen. But, but yeah, because you know what I mean. Like, you've seen Chrono Phantasma, they met, they were in the same room... He tried to kill him. Ragnar tried to kill him. Then they stopped and went to bed. Yeah. Because they were forced to work together. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to uh, kill you, but we need to work together. Also, I hope Kokonoe has more relevance in this game. More what? Relevance. Oh. Well, she was like a major figure in Chrono Phantasma, but... She was never just... directly involved. Yeah. She was always an outsider. Have you seen Kokonoe? I, I, I like my Kokonoe, man. Uh, shut up. <laughs> she, she's a badass. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to this. Okay, yeah, you you know Hibiki, right? Yeah. He was in Chrono Phantasma, but he wasn't playable. He was just kind of like a support character that just stood there. He he provided plot detail. Yeah, I'm glad to see that he's actually more has more relevance. But then there's this guy over here now, so. Okay, hang on, pause it. Is he using Seether just, like, kind of in the same method Ragna does? Uh, well, in the novels, basically, his whole, uh, arm got destroyed and got replaced by a similar thing to the blade. Well, it got replaced by the Azure Grimoire. So basically the same thing Ragna's got going. Yeah, and also, uh, Naoto's half-vampire. Just like Ragna. No, Ragna's well, not even... Well, when you think about the abilities. the re Now, the thing is, apparently, if he didn't become a vampire or some shit, it's, he would have gone insane or went overboard with power or some shit. That's why. So, I don't know what Ragna's reasoning over there is, but my idea is, hey, Naoto is his like, great-great-grandpa or something, so maybe Ragna's like... And, like, a 16th vampire or something. I don't know. Now, did Naoto actually ever become a full vampire? Uh, I don't remember him ever becoming human again. <clears throat> so, you could probably make the argument that, yes, he is a vampire. Full on vampire. And I do know he does fall in love with Rachel's older sister. Damn, son. Oh, well, his her adoptive older sister. Damn, son. Uh, but 
Okay, so... Ragnar's got vampire blood. It's canon. A very, very small amount. But he has it. It's canon. That would explain a lot of his superhuman feats before the Grimoire. Yeah, and it would also explain, because of how little amount of uh, vampiric blood he has, is why he doesn't need any. Mm -hmm. Like, blood. Because now, so, he had to keep, like... Drinking. <laughs> Hold on. I can't remember exactly how it went, but I do know for a fact that they do end up together, and I know Naoto is his ancestor. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to remember how it and went. It's been a while. he is also in possession of the Azure Grimoire. Yes. So he can basically do all the same shit Ragna can. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm interested to see what would happen if they met. Yeah. And Ragnar still has a part that he needs to play. Well, yeah, he's got to decide if he's going to destroy the world or not. Well, I think... Wait, who is this saying it? Rachel. Okay, yeah, Rachel's saying it. So, yeah, that would still make sense because at the end of Chrono Phantasma, she said, Rag, uh, you need to kill Ragnar before he dies to Tsubaki. Which would mean he still has a part and after that, he needs to be killed. Oh, hey, almost... it's another game where everyone dies. It's most likely... Because Izanami's still running around, so they might need Ragna to destroy Izanami. And then after that, he needs to die. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a purpose anymore. And it'd be too dangerous to be left alive. Yeah, because, I mean, all it takes is a flip of a switch, and, oh, Black Beast. Enderworld. GG, no re. See, um... Now, can we assume that most of these people are talking to Ragna? Well, this one, no. He's talk. uh, this is really us talking to Carl. And it's uh, already shown that Rilius wants Carl to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, I knew that. Like, Rilius is making Carl hate him, so he's on the path of revenge. Hmm. He's trying to lead him down his path. Interesting. I understood that in Chrono Phantasma, because one of the things he says... Which was... How he... Well, the way he acted, he went he out of character. to Carl. Yeah, he's trying to make Carl hate him. He's trying to make him get motivated to... Want to kill him. Yeah. He wants like Carl a, to uh, kill him and then take his place, basically. Exactly. This one, uh, it's probably just bullet. Uh, search for myself, that's probably Celica. Celica is still, like, a migraine and a half to figure out. Is she still a phantasma? Yeah, she's still a phantasma. Oh, yay. You still don't exist. How's that feel? She doesn't exist, but exists at the same time. Let me have my joke moment. <laughs> no, I, that's the that's the joke in itself. The fact that she exists and doesn't exist. Also, I'm pretty sure Celica is going to go hunt down Ragna and stay with him because it's heavily implied... She, she doesn't... Him. Yeah, she likes him and doesn't want him to die. Yeah, it's because of that one gag reel. Uh, Rachel's... No, it's not that. Uh, but... The fact that... The, like, how she acts uh, throughout the whole game but... without the gag reel. No, it, but if I'm bringing the gag reel into this. Because it does provide a fair bit of emotional insight. Because she didn't act differently when Ragnar wore the, uh, the arrows glasses. And Rachel said that the only people that would be unaffected were the people that already held very strong feelings for him. By that logic, you acknowledge that Rachel wants him. Yes, by that logic, I acknowledge this fact. All right, guys. As long as you don't become a hypocrite and like disagree with that. No, I'm I'm completely. I am completely for that. Like, it, dude, even. Even without that little bit of knowledge, look at the way she acts towards him. 
She's condescending, oh, yeah. but in a kind of playful kind of way. Oh yeah, especially with all the playful smirks she has when she talks to Ragna. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and all the playful name calling. Let's not even start there. Mm -hmm. but, <clears throat> and yep. So let's see who was who all was unaffected. Uh, Celica, Rachel. Now this uh, might sound mean, but I think Noel wasn't af like affected. That's how she always acts. No, she was uh, far more forward. I, I know. I was just making a joke. Can't 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 even let me have fun. No, never. <laughs> no, no fun for you. No fun shall be had here. No fun shall be had here. None. None. At yeah. All. But yeah, I still like uh, freaking uh, Noel a lot. I'm just glad that, from the looks of it, she's going to be more fun to play as, and I'm hoping in the story, she develops a bit more of a backbone. I just remembered something funny from that gag reel. Hmm. Jin was affected to the max. Are you sure that's not just if Jin ignored his hatred for Rachna? It could be. <laughs> are, are, we con are we condoning this ship right now? Oh, I'm not. It's just Is that what's happening? That we it's just every single gag reel Jin has is him wanting his brother. All of them. In every way. In every single game. I mean, for Pete's sake, there's one where the it's the brother islands. That 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 encompasses two. <laughs> oh god. That's two gag reels from two different games, always ending with the same one. Him ha wanting an army of his brother to kill and to look at. And his spirit possessed, well, everything. <laughs> this tree. This rock. The Even rock. these ripples? Even these ripples. I'm going to kick your ass, Jen. This rock? Jen, I'm seriously pissed off right now. This tree? Jen! And then he started la laughing hysterically and was so happy as he was stabbing them all. Mm-hmm. And then uh, froze half the island because the island refused to give him rock. Uh, it's just... And the reason... Okay, and to those of you who are not completely aware of this gag reel, the reason that these army of Ragnas took over the island is like this... It's because his feelings towards Ragnar were so strong. Oh, God. Arc Systems loves to, like, fuck with people with that. <laughs> oh, that, that ship is sailed, brother. Uh, that ship sailed long ago. Uh, by the way, a little off topic here, but I hope they bring Lambda back. Because they brought her back for Phantasma Extend, which made me really happy. Because... Like, if it's not even a spoiler, I'll just disable, like, the... Yeah. Uh, Lambda used to be my main and Continuum Shifts, uh, too. Ah, uh, I remember that. Back in the days before Hazi uh, took the reins and just... I became a Hazi player. And to if you've seen my videos, you know that Ragna is my main. And if you saw uh, my arcade mode playthrough, you know I got pretty damn good with him. Now, from the looks of this trailer, though, uh, one of the things I noticed, Teremi doesn't say much. Which is weird. Because I would think Teremi would have, would have said some pretty... Uh, Nasty things. Yeah. But he doesn't really do anything. I mean, I know for a fact Teremi wouldn't die. Like, I know Helizema wasn't, but I know for a fact Teremi couldn't die. Jeremy is God, don't you know? Yeah, because how many times has he died already in the series? Oh boy, where do I begin? I think five. Exactly. Because, uh, well, he died and was sealed inside of Rachel's mansion. Then was put into a body where he lost control and got killed. Put in another body where he backstabbed everyone and became a ghost. Talk to Relius to make a clone of him. Which became Hazama. They separate... And technically, he died in Chrono Phantasma. But he probably came back because Hazama and Terami died at different times. 
That's so, all soul link bullshit. It's really gonna write them into a corner, I think. Yeah. Like well, the, th well, the thing was inter they had to die at the same time. I know, but it's an interesting concept. But it's really going to write them into a corner. Like they're gonna write themselves into a corner with it one day. And it's probably yeah. going to be in this game. Well, from what I hear, this, uh, the game after this one's the last one. Okay, so there's one more game after Central Fiction. Yeah. I did hear some talk about that, how the next one after Central Fiction's the last. Huh. But, so, yeah, Central I... Fiction might be referring to it, it centralizing on the focal point Ragna, and then the next one is going to be the end. Yeah, because like this... Chrono Phantasma, from what I recollect, didn't really have that much to do with him. It was kind of what everyone else was doing at the time. Yeah. Ragna wasn't really focused on at all. He was just... Ragna was kind of like wandering around, minding his own business. <laughs> For once in his life. He was just kind he of... Was... He was minding his own shit. Yeah, then he was forcibly dragged by everyone else into their business. And he's like, I don't want to be here. Let me go away now. That was the whole game, too. Literally, that was the whole game. Ragna didn't want to be there, and everyone forced him to go there. Like, back in time. Yeah. He didn't want Now, it. what's funny is, half the time, wasn't it the opposite? No one wanted anything to do with Ragna? Uh, yeah, I believe in Chrono Phantasma, everyone either wanted him dead, or didn't want anything to do with him. But now everyone's yeah, like, Ragna, we love you, come help us. Yeah, and I like how, uh, uh, I actually think Noel is in love with Ragna just because some of the cutscenes in Phantasma. It wouldn't surprise me. Because you know what I mean, right? There were several cutscenes where they were talking and how Heavy she was shipping. thanking him. Heavy shipping. It, it's just implying it all over the place. Heavy shipping. <laughs> it's like that whole Ragna Jin thing. Heavy shipping. <laughs> Yeah, but the gag reels are just... And according to the gag reels, uh, Ragna and Terami are best friends and uh, started a uh, boy band. That sounds awesome. Did you see that gag reel? I did not. I have not. Uh, uh, we can watch that after this video, but... <laughs> yeah, we will, we will. yeah, there's there's a whole gag reel of them making a boy bands. Terami and Ragna. Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> uh... Now, oh, yeah. keep in mind, the gag reels are just that, gag reels, but they don't go typically too out of character. <laughs> yeah. Except for that one, apparently. Because they're not Where trying to murder just... each other. <laughs> it's, just, it's just hilarious seeing that. Uh, but I think that's enough for this. Uh, we and we gave some uh, thoughts on the trailer. We showed uh -huh. the trailer. Uh, there will be a link to the trailer yeah, the there's going to be links in the trailer in the description. I'm also going to leave, uh, for some support for the Blaze Blue series, I'm also going to leave a link to the Steam store for Chrono Phantasma. I highly recommend it if you I believe Continuum Shift played Extend played is, also, is also on the Steam store. And oh, yeah. Calamity it Trigger. Was, it was Extend. It was Extend. And Calamity Trigger. Yeah, well, I think all the games are on there. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Later.